Hey guys, welcome back to the Second Time Lucky Mining Channel. In today's quick video, we are going to start a new series exploring the Ergo ecosystem and this will be part one and we are going to have a look at the Nautilus wallet. If you like the Ergo content, please like the video and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. It will help me out a great deal. But enough of shilling my channel, let's jump into the content. Now today's video is the first video in what I hope to be a multi-series video where I explore the Ergo ecosystem. Now why specifically am I doing that? Well, I'm considering myself as an uninformed miner. For the longest time I've mined Ethereum and as soon as I received my first LHR card I started looking for alternatives and I found Flux and I've been mining Flux and Ethereum for the longest time. And then since the Ethereum merge that's the first time where I started looking around and looking at other coins and I discovered Ergo but you know if you haven't followed the Ergo drama uh, around the Ethereum hash rate there was a lot of things around um, the adjustment of the difficulty and stuff like that so it really hasn't gone back or at least I haven't gone back after the first couple of weeks of mining Ergo but the bear market is here for building and learning and you know I've been following the Ergo ecosystem for a while or at least since I've heard about it on the Son of a Tech uh, YouTube channel and again if you don't follow him I'm sure you do already but go and have a look he has got in-depth videos of a multitude of projects but the long story short is I'm new to the Ego ecosystem yes I've mined it for a little bit of time but I'd like to explore it a little bit more and understand what the Ego ecosystem has to offer and doing that in order to interact with the Ergo ecosystem, I would need a wallet. And that's really where this video comes in. I need a wallet that is able to connect and communicate with the ecosystem, specifically for Ergo, and allow me to play with the various things Ergo has to offer. And that's really where the Nautilus wallet comes in. Now, there's various different other wallets, and throughout the series, hopefully we'll have a look at some of those other wallets, but at least in my opinion, or the little bit of reading and looking into that I have done, the Nautilus wallet seemed to be the wallet that is the most connected with most of the decentralized applications or dApps, and also it contains most of the tokens. So that's the one that I wanted to start off with the series with, because I need a wallet in order to interact with the Ego ecosystem and the Nautilus Nautilus wallet seems to be the one that is the most connected on the Ergo ecosystem. Now in this video I'll show you guys how to install the Nautilus wallet as a browser extension and then I'll move some of my mind Ergo to the Nautilus wallet that I consider my Ergo education fund that I'll use to interact with the Ergo ecosystem and understand what do they or Ergo have to offer in the ecosystem. Now enough talking about it, let's jump on the computer and I'll show you guys how to install the Nautilus wallet and move some funds across. Okay, so here we go on the computer. Now what I've got open is the Ergo platform official website and what I like to do is have a look at the official wallets that Ergo has to offer and within the official website, I'm just gonna click on this get Ergo and then it talks about talking Ergo and getting Ergo, mining it, buying it, storing it. And, you know, if I scroll a little bit down, you'll see the miner part. There's a mining calculator. But here at the bottom, there is a wallet section here. Now, what I noticed is this section is obviously not extensive. There is more wallets that support Ergo. But I don't know if, um, you know, this just hasn't been updated. But uh, a good example is a wallet that I use that I know has got Ergo. And that is uh, Zelcor, right? It's got, um, you know, Ergo in it. But I do know it doesn't support any of the DApp connector or the Ergo Pay stuff. So um, that's a bit of a bummer. But, um, you know, hopefully they add it in the future. But here you can have a look at the various different Ergo wallets. And if I scroll a little bit down, you'll see the Ergo node. You'll see Minotaur. Here is Nautilus, what this video specifically is about. I had a look at Safe W and maybe... I'll have another look at it and do a specific video on it. But the UI didn't look that great specifically for me, at least what I found in GitHub. Um, I'm really excited for Sat Ergo. So um, as soon as they make some updates, I'll definitely have a look back at Sat Ergo. And this is the wallet that is also a node. So it's actually quite cool. But specifically, if you look at Nautilus here, it's got allegedly um, ledger integration. Maybe that's something that I'll look into in the future. But it's got the DApp connector here. And that's the most important thing. Or well, that's specifically why I want to use this. Now, I'm not overly excited that it is a web wallet. Um, you know, at least in my opinion, it's not the most secure thing. But, 
Um, as long as I exercise appropriate risk management, I'm not going to use this Nautilus wallet as where I keep all my ergo. It's really my, what I'm going to call my ergo education fund here. So basically ergo that I am actually going to use to learn about the ergo ecosystem. Now, where do I find it and how do I install it? Now for that, I'm going to select the Nautilus wallet here. And then what will happen is it will actually open up GitHub. Now I'm a massive fan of GitHub. I personally, I store my app that I've got on the Flux network also in GitHub. It's nice and open source. Also means anybody can contribute. So obviously here, if you wanted to go and contribute to the Nautilus wallet, you can actually go ahead and do so. Now I'm just gonna zoom in slightly here and then scroll a little bit down. So what you can do actually is have a look at the release notes and I like to actually go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna select it. Um, and then what will happen is you can see sort of what changed over the previous version. So you can see here they added the SPF token, uh, the Ergo One token, um, and a couple of other people that contributed. Now, if you wanted to have a look at that, you can select the zip file here. But specifically, I'm just going to take one step back, scroll a little bit down. And the Nautilus wallet is, as I mentioned before, is a Chrome extension. So specifically for my case, I'm using Chrome. So I'm just going to click this Chrome web store and you would see the version sort of lines up. So I'm just going to select that. It's going to open up my Chrome um, extension and apologies for the white mode here. Um, and then I'm going to select add to Chrome. It's going to ask me, are you sure you want to do that? I'm going to say yes, add extension. And then in a little while, you'll see here Nautilus wallet has been added to Chrome. So next up, I actually want to open it up. And what I find actually interesting here is save W also here at the bottom. But I'm just going to close this tab because I just don't like the white mode. And then I'm going to go to my Chrome extensions here at the top. So I'm just going to select it. And here you can see there is the Nautilus wallet. Now, specifically in my case, I'm just going to pin it here. And pinning it here, make sure it's visible. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and select it. Now, what's important here is know your assumptions. So you can more than maybe take your own time and read through it here. Um, I'm going to understand it and know my assumptions here. And this is now where you can go ahead and create the wallet. Now, if you've got an existing wallet or you want to connect it to Ledger, you can go ahead and do that. Because this is my first wallet here, I'm going to create a wallet. So I'm just going to select create. I'm going to give it a name. Uh, education fund and then I'm going to give it a password um, and then it's important that recover phrase these are the phrases that I will use to recover it now obviously you guys seeing it you can go and recover my um, wallet here but it's important that you use one of those devices um, or you can use a multiple different things. You can write it on a piece of paper, you can etch it into something else, but it's important to keep this recovery phrase separate. Now, this is super important, you know, for full transparency. I've used the Nautilus wallet before, and I've made a mistake where I reinstalled Windows um, and forgot, or at least I remember writing it down, but I don't remember where I put it. But I lost everything specifically in that wallet. So it's important that you write down your recovery phrase here. So take the time, write it down, store it in a place where you know exactly where it is, hopefully in a safe on one of those etcher devices. Um, you'll see there's even a tick box here at the bottom where it says confirm um, that you've secured it in a safe place. Once you've done that, hit the confirm here. And then it would go ahead and create your wallet. And here you can see there is no balance here. Now, the other thing that you need to take care of is there's no way to get that seed phrases here. Now, what I mean by it is once you create the wallet, that is it. It's done and dusted. So there's no options where you can go in settings here and go and find your uh, keys, or at least not that I'm aware of here. But um, you know, maybe you know a way uh, that that will help me a great deal. Maybe I'll get some of my funds back that I lost. But um, I've sort of uh, you know put that down to user error and a uh, important and expensive lesson to learn. Now, the next and potentially last thing that I'm going to do here on the Nautilus wallet is specifically receive funds within the Nautilus wallet. In order to do so, I need to get the receiving address here. And where I will find that is in these buttons here. So it's really quite simple. You've got assets, you've got receive, and you've got send. There's not a 
awful lot more that the Nautilus wallet um, you know can do for you yes you can change some settings here if I just make it in, go into settings you can change the name you can hide your addresses privacy mode you can change your currency um, so there is a little bit of stuff that you can do but mainly what I'm going to be using it for is receiving ergo and spending ergo and using the ergo ecosystem right so that's really what I'm going to use this for now where do I find my receiving address I'm just going to select receive here and here is my address that I will use to send my mind ergo to. And that's what I'm going to do next. So let me go ahead and send my mind ergo. Now, after waiting a little bit of time, let me just open up the Nautilus wallet again. You would now see that I've got 50 ergo here. And as you can see, it's about 75 or 76 in this case, US dollar. So that's what I consider my ergo education fund. And this is what I will use going forward for part two and the rest of the series. Now, there's a couple of stuff that I'd love to do on the Ergo ecosystem. I'd love to buy NFT. I'd love to use that uh, gambling site that they've got. Um, you know, I'd love to stake. I'd like to swap some of my Ergo into different assets. So there's a couple of stuff that I've got planned for the next series. Now, what I also would like to know is if you're using a different wallet, Please specify in the comments what wallet are you using and specifically why you are using that wallet. Again, as I mentioned earlier, I'm an uninformed miner and the more I can learn from the community, the better. So I'd love to know what you guys are using and why you're using it. That's it for this video, guys. If you've enjoyed the video, please like the video and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. If you didn't, please specify in the comments what you would like me to change. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.